there are loud things happening outside of my house right now, so if you hear background noise, I apologize for that. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. The first thing I want to say is a little off topic and has nothing to do with the video, but I did my makeup for the first time today. I just spent a ton of money on makeup, like on face makeup for me, so I could feel better about myself and my complexion, and I did it, and I look good. I really enjoy this. Props to Mickey for teaching me how to do it over FaceTime. Aside from that, let's get into the video. On today's trans education, I really wanted to talk about why I flaunt my sexuality and things like that. The first reason is because I'm not ashamed of it. You see people who are straight or heterosexual going around and they don't realize necessarily that they are also flaunting their sexuality. It's everywhere. It's on billboards, it's on TV, it's PDA. But then the second someone who's not straight does that, it's all hell breaks loose. So really flaunting part of what makes you you is not a bad thing. Straight people do it all the time. I also do not flaunt my sexuality to make you uncomfortable. I enjoy talking about it. I enjoy having it out in the open because it makes me feel more comfortable and doing something that makes me feel comfortable that makes you uncomfortable I'm really sorry about that but I'm not gonna change how I live my life to conform to your standards your heterosexual lifestyle does not make me uncomfortable therefore my homosexual lifestyle should not make you uncomfortable granted it's all a matter of perception and opinion but being nasty to somebody else about what they do in their private life is not a good thing. I did just say private life, but it's not just private life either. You see hetero couples all over the place, all over the place, and you rarely ever see a queer couple. So when I flaunt my sexuality, I flaunt it so I can give other people the representation that I don't necessarily have. I do talk about it a lot, and I enjoy talking about it a lot because it makes me comfortable, it makes me happy, and it's something that needs to be talked about more. It's something that needs to be normalized because it's not abnormal. There are so many different sexualities, genders, expressions, identities that you can't sit there and say that one is the default, and that's what a lot of people tend to do. That's why I like to flaunt my sexuality, because it shows other people that it's out there and that it's real and that it exists, no matter if certain people don't like it. I flaunt my sexuality because I'm proud of my sexuality. I'm proud that I love guys, and I'm proud that I am a guy. And there's not really much more to say. I put it out there into the world because I like to be open, and I know that there are people who who are straight that say, yeah, you can be gay, but don't shove it in our faces. But what they don't necessarily realize is that that's what's happened to queer people all over the place. Every TV show, every TV show, advertisements, heterosexual couples are everywhere. You hardly ever see a queer couple or a queer person in general, and when you do, they usually get killed off or separated for some reason or another. And that's not really okay, and it's not equal representation. And it kind of teaches that being queer is wrong, which it's not at all in any sense. And I could go on and on about why I flaunt it and why I put it out there, but the main reason is, is because it makes me happy. It makes me happy, it makes me comfortable, it gives other people representation, and it's a good and important thing. If straight people are allowed to flaunt their sexuality, I should be allowed to flaunt mine. And yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say on the topic. I just really wanted to put that out there for you guys as a little bit of an explanation about why I, as an individual, like to flaunt and talk about my sexuality. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy the video or relate to it in any sense, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Do you do the same thing? Are you open about it? Are you closed about it? Let me know. And if if you like this video so much, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week, one on Tuesdays and one on Thursdays, and that is two videos a week coming your way. And if you want to keep up with me in real time, you can follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle. The links to all of my social media will be below. I'm usually really active on my Snapchat. I wasn't last night, but we're not gonna talk about that. But Snapchat, Snapchat's a good social media for me. I've also been doing weekly vlogs on my side channel, so if you want to go check those out, the link to my side channel will be below as well as the link to my collab channel. That's all I have to say. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you and I will see you on Thursday. Bye!